Hey folks, Matt from right of the image.com. A lot of excitement right now. I know I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to get my hands on one. The new Z6, the new Z7, full frame mirrorless from Nikon. Um, and in my last video, I was just discussing, uh, as I said, it was brought to my attention by Kirk Tuck over on Visual Science Lab. Really interesting article, actually rather amusing. He did some good tongue in cheek there. Um, commenting on Tony Northrup's position that the Z6 and the Z7 cannot be used by professionals because of their single card slot. So this was interesting, and we discussed that. Um, basically, it's not really a concern of mine, and we've had a lot of good feedback already on whether or not um, what well, you guys think on it. And uh, feel free to uh, add your comments in that video for sure, and uh, maybe we'll discuss some of the best commentary on there and see where that goes. Um, in any case, I mentioned in that video, I didn't want to get into it in that video, but I did mention that uh, as much as this is an interesting issue to me and I wanted to know what, how you guys came down on this, of whether or not, uh, a camera that only has one card slot should not be used by a pro. The bigger issue for me is that they made the single card slot XQD. These are expensive, very expensive, cost prohibitive in my opinion. Um, and I don't know why they just didn't make them SD slots. I mean, we've got amazing options available for SDXC cards. We've even got micro SDXC cards that come in at amazing prices now that I use in adapters. I'm shooting on one right now the Samsung, uh, in the G85, and it's fantastic. I think I paid $29.99 or something like that for a 128 card. When I pop over here and I currently look at today's pricing on Amazon, a 128 XQD card is $229.95. Same on B&H here, $229.95 for a 128 card. So I can get an SDXC, I think it's an XC, uh, Samsung card, high quality, fast card, uh, that works great in my G85, shooting 4K right now. So I really don't think it's a speed issue for 30 bucks. Or I can spend $230 on an XQD card. Now Nikon says over on their own webpage that the two main benefits of the XQD format are its blazing fast read and write speeds, current and proposed for the future, and high capacity storage limits. But I guess where I'm looking at it, where I'm coming from is, I'm using it in a 4K camera, and I've used it in the GH5 as well, and these cards are fast enough. I've had no problems in the G85 shooting 4K or in the Sony's shoot, shooting 4K with these cards. So the speed isn't an issue. So I don't know why we need the XQD in these cameras. And the capacity is already there in the SDXC and micro SDXC cards. I just looked over in my history for orders on Amazon. You can see here I've ordered these a few times. I have the uh, Samsung 128 gig. 100 megabytes a second, U3 cards, micro SD, Evo Select. So those are really good cards with an adapter. I've, I've got at least three or four of them. I show three here, but I think I've ordered one previously. And if I drill down into the order details here, what did I pay for this one? Now, for some reason, when I'm looking through the order details, it keeps showing it at zero. And I don't know if that's maybe Amazon's doing that because they want you to look at what the current price is, which is obviously here, $34.99. In any case, these cards are fantastic. I'm using these Samsung 128 gig, 100 megabytes a second U3 cards in my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which is uh, right here. And it's a 128 card, so it's plenty of room for shooting video, for um, video storage, for a music library, and it's super fast. I've had no problem shooting at the high setting 4K on the video there, but I've also used it, and as I said, I'm using it right now, one of these cards in the Samsung, uh, Samsung Panasonic G85. I'm shooting 4K right now with it. I've used it. I'm using one right now. I believe that's what I have in the uh, Sony RX100 Mark VI. I've used it in other Sonys at 4K and a couple other cameras that I've been shooting 4K with. I think that might even be what I have in the D... Uh, 750, uh, D7500, sorry, right now for shooting 4K and for shooting photos. In any case, I don't see how we, why we couldn't have had um, an SDXC slot in there, basically an SD slot that's capable of the fastest and latest and greatest S SD cards, in this case, uh, micro SDXCs at an incredible price, 35 bucks for 128 gig, as opposed to $229.99, $230 for these XQD cards. I know they say they're fast, but these cards seem to be fast enough. And I know they say they got lots of storage, but we got 128 here. And just in case you were wondering, there's the 256 gig, 100 megasecond U3 micro SDXC Evo card. Great card. I mean, look at the ratings, four and a half out of five stars. 
almost 9,000 customer reviews. At the time of this this video, 8,985. might be over 9,000 by the time you guys look. In any case, $89.99, and I think I've seen those cheaper than that too. Don't forget those come with an adapter. You get everything you need. Um, you can take them out and use them in devices that need a micro, but they also work great with the adapter in the G85 and cameras and whatnot that need an SD. So that's my thought. Why didn't we get an SD card? I think the bigger issue is not that we had a single slot, a single card slot in the Z6 and the Z7. And to me, the bigger issue is why'd they have to go XQD? I don't like that. Let me throw back to you guys. Are you happy with, are you okay with XQD? You think the reasons are valid? That it's faster and big storage? Because I don't know, I'm, I'm seeing pretty fast here and lots of storage at a lot less price. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think, where you come down on this and why. Is it an issue for you um, that they went XQD? Would you rather they'd gone SD as I would? Uh, or do you see the reason for it and you're okay with it and you're okay with the price of those cards? Um, is it a bigger issue for you that it's a single card slot and you don't care about the XQD? Are they both huge bones of contention for you? I mean, in the comments below, let's discuss it. Z6 and Z7, the XQD slot. Uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Um, let me know your thoughts and why. Let's flush it out and discuss this. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.